So what we're going to do today is, this is my 7x12 Princess Auto Saw, same thing as Harbor Freight. Um, pretty uh, generic, made overseas saw, but it works well. Um, this saw has cooling capabilities, which I've never ran. Um, I have a job coming up where I have to cut some stainless, so I'd like to get the coolant working on it. That way it's a little bit easier on the blades. So we're going to first uh, clean the saw up and then uh, mix up the coolant and see if it works. Here's a little bit of a close up on the saw. You can see it's got a lot of chips and stuff. I was cutting some wood, some wood shavings there. We just got to clean it all up. Um, that is the material stop, which slides into that hole there. Um, basically, if you had a bunch of repeated cuts, you just set your stop, and then all you have to do is slide your material up against a stop, and you don't have to continually measure. It just helps if you've got a small production run of parts. This saw also works in the vertical and the horizontal position. This is the table when you put it in the horizontal position, and which I really, really like about this saw because I don't have a lot of space here, um, so I really can't. I can't afford to give up space to have both saws, so this works really, really well. It's got a down feed control with this hydraulic cylinder here. Um, and I'd like to modify this one day. Um, the way this one is set up is straight up and down, and I find when it gets near the bottom, it doesn't have a lot of control because just the way, the way it's oriented. And I've seen on other saws uh, similar to this one, where this is mounted in the material stop hole here where the rod threads in. And I think that would make it have a lot finer control on the down feed in that position there. So I may at some point move this and hook it up here and they would essentially make this cylinder come across this way. And I think it'd give you a lot better control. But we'll see. Today's task is we're going to clean it up and get the coolant working on it. clean now. We're just gonna turn the bandsaw around and pull the coolant tank out of it. Okay, we gotta remove this uh, return hose here. The sump should come out just like that. I'm gonna vacuum out the strainer here. So this is the coolant I got. This is what my local supplier had in stock. It's Walter Cool Cut S30. I have never used this brand of coolant before. Um, but if it's like any other other products, it'll be amazing. Um, their flap wheels and grinding discs are by far the best out there. They last the longest. They're a little bit more money, but nothing even comes close to how long they last. Um, so I've read the instructions on this. It calls for a 1 to 20 to 1 to 30 ratio. Um, cutting oil to water. Um, I'm not sure how much this little guy holds, but we're going to mix 10 liters up to start. Um, so I'm going to do half a liter of coolant to 10 liters of water. And if we need more, we'll mix up some more. So we got our pail here that we're going to mix everything in. These are my uh, measuring cups. That's a cleaned out 10 liter jug of DEF. It's cleaned out container of uh, hummus, 454 grams, which is just under half a liter, but that'll get us real close to the 1 to 20 range, so we'll be safe there. I've already uh, poured in the water. I'm going to fill that little guy up, and we'll mix it all up. i got a stir stick here. Just 
stir it and then we'll uh, get it all poured into the coolant tank and test it out. we go. Let's pour it in. how this is wired let's uh, try it out we'll open the valve here I'm not sure if it'll turn on here if I have to turn the saw on okay so we got to turn the saw on so I'm just gonna lock the down feed just so I can have it up off the stop here so it doesn't shut the saw off so we'll just leave it just like that all right let's see what happens Well, we got coolant. Let's uh, cut some parts. That's it for today. Um, this was just a simple uh, thing I had to get done. Um, and hopefully the blades last a lot longer the way it is. And I got an upcoming project that I'm going to be cutting some stainless, that, which is the reason why I did this. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. God bless.